Hello everyone, welcome to our channel that is Solid Master. So today in this video, I will show you how to make the rack and pinion assembly in SolidWorks. I have made this video to show you how to give this motion here in uh, in our SolidWorks by using this uh, mat, rack and pinion mat and how to drag here tool how to drag the uh, components in toolbox that I will show you in this uh, video. I hope you've seen it. So let's go to make. Okay, so let's go to here home, go to assembly, select here ok, ignore this one. If you have latest version then it will be come again. So click on ok. Now our window has opened here. Go to here tool design library, toolbox. ASN metric, power transmission, select here gears and select here rack and spur gear, sorry uh, rack spur gear here, go to here module and go to here make it 11 and pressure angle will be 20 only remain as it is and face width will be 65 mm make sure your unit will be mmgs now pitch height make it 150 150 height and uh, length will be 1555 so these are all our properties here in configuration component whenever you will pick one uh, component from toolbox in design library here click on ok Cancel. Go to design library. Select your spur gear. Drag this one. Spur gear here. Go to here properties. Select your module 10. Make it 45 number of teeth. Face width will be 65. Now sharp diameter will be 125. Show teeth 45. Click on OK. Cancel. Uh, our first component will be fixed. So right click, float, go to mates, go to mates here. Select here this uh, first rack, face of rack and then spur gear face. Make it coincident for relation. Click OK. Now 
Now again select this face and this face. Delete this relation first. Uh, here it is small mistake here I have done. So again go to make command. Select this face and this face and make it coincident first. Okay. Now drag this uh, rack here like this. Select here Tutkar, show, select this point and this uh, uh, edge, select this coincident distance. Make it uh, 378 mm and click OK. Now go to here mechanical mates here. Select here me uh, mechanical mates. And here you can see rack and pinion mate. Select here first this edge. First of all, I will select here pinion gear. So for that, zoom it here, zoom to area. Select this uh, this sketch and this rack here. Select here edge. And click on OK. Here select here rack uh, pinion pitch diameter. And click on OK. Hide this sketch and we will see it is properly moving or not. It is properly going on. Only we have to fix one position here. So for that I will draw one sketch. Select here a uh, front plane sketch normal to click on circle draw one circle from this origin point Select the face of this burger and this circle. Make it coincident. So that it will be in one plane only.
Now hide this sketch. Uh, actually, it is not been fully placed here. Again, I have to add here one relation. Again, mate, I will apply here. Go to on mates. Go to here sub scroll. I will select here right plane. And here go to rack. In rack, select here plane 3. And select here flip dimension as it is keep it. Click on OK. As you see here, it comes minus that means it is under defined condition. So for that I will choose here driven. Or I will delete this relation that I have applied here. So as you see here, it is going on properly. Only one thing is that I have not uh, properly placed here. So that way, uh, that's why it is moving like this. So I hope you have seen how to apply here rack and pinion relation in this components spur gear and rack gear. Now in last step I will give here some colors. So I hope you like our session today. If you like our channel, so please subscribe it so that we will make new projects for you in our softwares. Thank you for watching it.